Hi everybody, Jeremy here from VG2 Studio and today a quick video to share with you how to use our time and date pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so once you download the pack, you'll get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder, just open it, you will have the license, the installation instruction, the GRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install the font, otherwise the title will not work. So just select all the font and then you can just double click to start the installation process. Then you can just double click on the TRFX file and it will just prompt open this window. Right now I already have the pack installed so ask me if I want to overwrite it. You can just click install. Once in DaVinci Resolve you can go over to effect, titles, video editor studio and then you can scroll all the way down to time and date pack. Then here you will find two sections, one being date and one being time. As the name indicates, date here will be to help you uh, show the path of time in terms of date or to display a specific date. And here for the time title, that will be to help you display the passing of time or to display a specific time. I've already demonstrated how to use the date one. That's the sample that you can download for free. I will put a link to it in the description below. So right now I'm gonna share with you how to use some of the other ones. They are pretty simple to use. There is some that have some specific functionality that I'm gonna demonstrate. So here, let's start with date two, for example. I'm just gonna take it and drag it directly to my timeline. Here by default, as you can see, the title is five second, but we can just increase that duration by extending the title. Here, as you can see, we have an animation going from March 2020 to August 2023. And then we have an animation out at the end of the title. You can adjust the timing of the animation here with the animation lens. Right now, by default, it's three seconds, but if you want it to happen quicker, we could select one second, for example and it will be a lot faster. Right now for this specific title, as you can see, there is no animation in the process. You can just drag this opacity slider right here if you want to have a fade in animation and then the second animation starting up. You have control also over the animation itself. So right now the letters are appearing random but one by one, but we could choose for example here to go from left to right and it will give you a different kind of animation already. Then you have access to all the other normal control like the size and position, um, the text one, which is the first one that we are seeing, March 2020. And then you have access to the text two that you can simply replace here to August 2023. You have access to the font, the colors, the size, etc. And as usual with any of the title, you have control over the shadow, you have control over the glow and the background. So I'm not going to spend too much time on those parameters because they are pretty much the same for every title within this pack and with any of all pack. Most of the specific setting adjustment to a title will always be here at the top. So let's move on to another one. This time let's do a time title which is going to drag time 10. And as you can see right now when we're starting it's starting to count directly. Right now that might not be the time that you want. I'm going to share with you how to modify that. If you open here the time control, you will be presented with a bunch of different options. You have here the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. You can basically play around with those to display the time that you want, and then it will start counting from then. So for example, here, if we like to start the counting at, let's say, 15 minutes and 10 seconds, as you can see now, when we're just playing, it's displaying 15 minutes and it's starting to count and we extend the title. As you can see now, if we play it, it's starting from 15 minutes, 10 seconds and it's counting up from then. If you need to display the hours, you can simply here click on hours and then here you can just add, for example, one hour. One thing to be aware of, if here you were to untick hours, it will be added to the amount of minutes. So always just reset the hours to zero in order to display the minutes properly. If you want to display the time going faster, what I will recommend is simply to here extend the title to whatever time you want to pass. So for example, here, we're gonna make the time ellipse from 15 minutes, 10 seconds up to 15 minutes, 45 seconds. And then I'm simply here gonna create a new compound clip. And then I'm gonna right click on that compound and change the clip speed. We can then here change the speed. So I'm gonna make it 10 times faster. And as you can see now, it just counting the second in accelerated. And I can just help you display the time passing by in a faster fashion. 
we also have clocks that are working in the same way. So here, for example, if you want to show time being elapsed in a specific period, let's say right now we're going to do a short period of 10 seconds. We can just extend that clock to 10 seconds. And as you can see, the time will ellipse within that duration. But then if you have a period that is of one minute, 10 minutes, an hour, you can just extend it to that period. And again, it will adapt to the parent that you try to represent. We have also other way to display time, for example, here with time one. Right now, the time is starting from 4.45 and then it's going to 12.12. 12. Right now, we're going to change the animation length. We're going to make it quicker. So we're going to change it to two seconds instead of four. We're going to then adjust the starting hour by going right over the starting hour, which is at 4.45. And then here, I'm going to adjust the starting hour. We're going to make it, uh, let's say, 8.30. So here, we're going to change that for 8, which is the starting hour slider. And then we're going to go to the starting minute slider. And we're going to do the same change. I'm going to reduce that to 30. Then I'm going to go towards the end of the animation. And then here, we're going to make it, let's say, 10.45. I'm going to go to ending hour and then we're just going to switch that to 10 and then we're going to go to ending minutes and we're going to change that to 45. And now we have some times being ellipsed between 8.30 to 10.45. Then one last type of time title that I want to share with you is this one, time 2, that can count up but also count down. So right now, as you can see, it's counting up from 1 hour, 22 minutes and 10 seconds and it's going up. But we can just here, as you can see, simply switch it to count down and it will just count down instead, going from one hour, 23 minutes, um, etc. Just one thing to be aware of, uh, sometimes this one need a bit more work. That's why it's a separated type of title because of the expression that go with uh, counting down. Right now, for example, when you adjust the number to have 20 minutes, and counting down from there, as you can see, there is an offset here of 52 seconds. So to actually reset it to 20 minutes 00, zero uh, just go here at the beginning of the title, see the number of seconds that are displayed, and here for the second, just do minus 52, uh, or whatever number is displayed here in the second, and it will just bring it here to 20 minutes. Now you can just play it, and as you can see, we'll just count down from there. Now for all today title, they pretty much all are working the same way. I did just have a few different control and a way to just set them up. For example, right here, um, this one, as you can see, you can set a start date and the end date. You can simply adjust that with this slider. So here, if we want to have, let's say 15, we can just change that slider right here and display 15 instead. You can also take a motion blur if you want to have more motion blur with that effect, but just be aware that it will just be more taxing. And right now I'm dropping a few frames when I'm using motion blur. All right, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this pack will be useful to you. Let me know if you have any question and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.